Hello and welcome to Elite Mind Academy. This is another episode of AI in Power BI series. And today with me, I have again Paweł Ekczernikowski, our data scientist. Uh, and we will, we will talk about? We'll talk about uh, some modeling. Uh, we talked in another episode uh, about uh, AutoML. Yeah. And today uh, we'll discuss uh, how we can uh, create our own model mm -hmm. in R using Power BI. Okay, so this time we are going to show you how you can integrate scripting languages like R or Python uh, in Power BI, with Power BI, uh, to this time create more data model, but uh, you can also use it for create, to create visualizations. We are not going to show you visualizations because this is about AI at that time. Okay, so here we are in Power BI Desktop, November edition, uh, and we are going to show you how we actually used our script to enrich our data set and uh, to present our, re our report with some machine learning capabilities. So Pavel, can you elaborate a, a bit on uh, what we have on those two cards that we've already prepared? Let's start with model accuracy. Uh, model accuracy uh, report shows us uh, how uh, our model performs um, on average so okay. uh, we have 93 percent of uh, accuracy on yeah. uh, new data that was uh, unlabeled yeah. uh, and uh, how our model uh, performs by some uh, variables so by yeah. some uh, type of um, customers for example by mm -hmm. education or by uh, age yeah. uh, and uh, we can so see we have we have we have different age uh, spans like uh, from 1 to 20 20 to 40 40 to 60 and so yes. forth right and it looks like it's uh, it's a bit uh, difficult to, pre to predict something for for the older older guys right uh, from yes. this from this uh, report uh, we we can see that the the, the, the easiest uh, for the model is to to uh, predict um, for uh, people between mm -hmm. uh, 20 and 60 yeah so, and for... so basically let's ask the, the basic question what are we going to predict actually because uh, that will probably show uh, the the sense of this report so this is the data set and can you can you sh can you share uh, some insights on what is what is inside yes so this is a historic uh, data sets about uh, bank uh, marketing so the information about a customer and the information in a column uh, subscribed uh, whether uh, some customer decided to subscribe or not uh, a, a deposit. Okay. So uh, basically here we can, uh, here we have uh, label data uh, that will uh, on will we uh, train our model. So basically this is all about prediction whether our customer is, is about to buy our product or not. Yes. Specifically. Okay. Yes. So uh, let's get back to the report. So this is the, this is the model accuracy card. We see that the accuracy is quite nice. 93% seems like it's it's pretty, pretty much high. And the model report, it shows. Hmm? And the model report is on the new data. So uh, we have uh, uh, new customers. Uh, we know uh, what are their mm -hmm. education, what mm -hmm. their job, and so on. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, we have the information, uh, what is the percentage uh, of uh, the, yeah. cust the new customers that okay. will... So um, we start with the information on uh, that we have 176 uh, yes. uh, new customers, which we have unlabeled. So we don't know actually whether they are going to buy and uh, we want to predict that. Uh, no, 176 okay. so, uh, are the new customers okay. that the mother predicts that okay. they will uh, uh, subscribe to okay. our deposit. Nice. So this is already valuable information because it's not about the whole population, but just about the population uh, that is going to buy our product. Nice. Yes. Superb. 
and uh, the um, if we, we can of, we can of course play with this report to see uh, some insights for example uh, about uh, if we divide customers by education if we find this particular variable meaningful then we can see that for example um, it's it slices with uh, the job and we see that uh, the tertiary education um, uh, plus retired means quite high uh, prediction comparing to the the, the, uh, the distribution overall uh, among among customers. Okay, so Pavel, how did we get to this report actually? Because it seems like we have not just the data but also predictions. Yes, so uh, we uh, did it all in uh, Power Query. Okay, so I have to go to transform data and yes. the queries, right? Let's go there. And we started with this CSV file as a data set. So this bank history is a kind of uh, entry point. We have just the data, uh, some of the some of the customers from the history labeled with subscribed column, right? Yes. So where do we where do we have to look for the predictions? It looks like uh, here is predictions. So this is a bank modeling. Okay. And uh, we have our um, source as. Mm -hmm. uh, bank uh, historic uh, so new let's, data. let's go step by step through yeah. this because okay. this will show the whole thing so basically we load the csv uh, we put the headers as headers we remove some uh, so on unwanted rows uh, probably out of out of change of data types and here we have um, let's see this is information whether uh, that this uh, data set okay. is historic yeah. so to okay. to have the uh, information for for yeah, so, script so we could we could uh, then um, join those two uh, merge those two data sets into yes. one big data set for historical and new customers right mm, okay right. So um, appended queries. And uh, I, I believe this is the this is uh, what we were looking for from uh, this this uh, this um, yeah. transformation perspective. I mean, this is <laughs> this is the R script that does the thing, right? Yeah, that is the, the most important in Let's this. See, okay, so I have an R script and uh, entered here, which uh, let's let's go through through this just to just to say just to describe what it's what it does actually. Uh, so it. Um... We have uh, the data set and so we use we use, we use libraries. Yes, to the two libraries, uh, mm -hmm. Carrot and uh, R part. Mm -hmm. uh, then we uh, and we use choose... the data set. Existing yes, data so, set. so so mm -hmm. we, we we choose which column uh, we will use for for the model. Mm -hmm. uh, then we uh, there is some normalization, I believe. Yes, pre-processing. So mm -hmm. so we cut uh, mm -hmm. age, for example, to to have. Yeah. Uh, uh, some ranges uh, we make uh, and we divide into between uh, the testing or, or the, no this is historic and uh, and uh, new data, new data. Yes. and we and we, we we take just a subset of columns for new data yes. that's that's it for for this for this part of the script but let's scroll yes. down because the whole magic happens later on so here we go with the predictions i believe yes so we uh, create a train and test data sets so we are uh, from the uh, historic uh, data set yeah uh, we um, take uh, 70 uh, percent uh, for training and we test it on uh, 30 percent uh, yeah. of our uh, the rest, data set the rest yeah of that. okay uh, and then we make a model so uh, this is a model in um, our, this is our part model so this is decision tree yeah. uh, and uh, then we uh, make uh, predictions mm -hmm. on the uh, test data and we pr and we provide uh, this uh, transformation with the new data frame actually the modified data set with the prediction as additional column as I believe uh, yes cool. Yes. Very nice. Uh, I believe it's very fairly simple to understand. So, Pavel, can you tell us? Did you write this script actually in this very simple editor, or whether you can you can use uh, some more sophisticated editors like R Studio for this? Uh, I use R Studio for for write the uh, script, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, then when I uh, know that the uh, script uh, is 
properly uh, written, uh, I move it to, uh, to to run our, sc our script in, in Power BI. So basically, uh, all you have to do is to prepare a data set, um, which, uh, which is, uh, which is uh, our CSV loaded into our studio. And then you can just write this, this script as, as you can see on the screen. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, just to make sure that you understand what is required for running this R scripts or Python scripts in, if you, if you prefer Python, um, let's show the options that we have in Power BI. So thank you for elaborating on this. That was very insightful. So if you go to file options and settings, right? In options, you can find uh, the, the configuration of R and Python scripting here in global settings. And you, you just have to point to the R home directory as well as uh, choose your five favorite, uh, uh, five favorite uh, user interface for, uh, for eventual editor, addition of uh, R scripting if you, if you run visuals. And you can also change the temporary storage location where all the uh, exported data from Power BI will be saved for uh, the purpose of editing externally of your scripts. The same story about Python. And um, I believe there is also a, a setting that we should also mention. It's, a, it's about privacy. So basically, uh, Power BI is uh, trying to avoid some unnecessary scripting inside. So if you want to run uh, scripts from within Power BI report, you have to change the privacy level or uh, just uh, click enable what, when Power BI asks you whether you want uh, whether you want or not to enable scripts for your Power BI report, right? So, okay, uh, I think uh, we've just shown uh, that uh, Power BI can be, uh, can be integrated with our script. Uh, just uh, one more thing to show because uh, we used some external libraries here, right? Uh, yes, we uh, used uh, two libraries, uh, yeah. Caret and uh, so, R part. So knowing that we have this R environment installed on my laptop, I can use incorporated UI uh, or, or just uh, R tools for um, for uh, adding additional libraries, right? If I miss any library, I can simply install packages. And for example, we used uh, this... Um, our part. Our part. So whether you, whenever you want to uh, bring another package uh, to your Power BI report, you have just to, to perform this operation, install package, and that's it. So I, I probably have this this report, this uh, particular package installed. So I'm not going to do that anymore. You you can you have to choose the mirror for installing uh, the package. So it's just uh, the repository from which you are going to download the package. But it's 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 like that. You just uh, can um, can um, enrich your uh, your um, R repository, R, R libraries using external libraries, which we already did in this in this uh, in this uh, simple experiment. So, Pavel, thank you. I believe this uh, this is uh, what we were about to show. So again, you can use uh, R or Python inside of Power Query transformations to enrich your data with predictions. So let's wrap it up. Uh, as you can see, you can easily integrate your R or script into Power BI for doing some transformations. Specifically, uh, we've shown you uh, how you can how you can create a model, how you can use use the model for prediction and then use the data produced by the model uh, just as your integral part of your data set and use, your, use the visualizations in Power BI. Hmm? So Pavel, what do you think? Can, can data scientists benefit from using Power BI? Uh, yes, for uh, such model when uh, we don't have to, to build a, a very um, specific pipelines uh, to modeling so for some uh, simple uh, types of models uh, we can easily use power bi because yeah. uh, we can uh, just after this visualize our data visualize um, how our uh, model perform uh, and uh, what is the most important uh, information from the model uh, mm -hmm. for the business okay so remember for for simple small models you can use power bi you're relying completely on what you have on your laptop or in power bi service which is 
not as scalable as uh, let's say mature uh, Azure services like a machine learning service, for example. So we recommend uh, we recommend you to move away from Power BI if you want uh, to build some sophisticated machine learning models. But again, uh, if you want just to uh, produce a model for for a simple small data set, then probably Power BI combined with R or Python can be something for you. And just to announce, uh, we will uh, get back to AI topics soon because this series is uh, about to end. Um, but uh, we are going to show you how you can how you can utilize Azure services uh, for bringing more machine learning into your solutions, uh, definitely. And about Power BI, we are going to step into the world of enterprise deployment. So uh, please subscribe us and. Uh, mm, Stay tuned. We will definitely uh, just uh, we have just started our our uh, our channel. Enjoy watching our movies. Thank you. Thank you.